a security development tool is a feature developed initially for AIM 2012 that helps more easily create and maintain security artifacts such as roles, duties, and privileges. This tool also has the additional functionality of displaying entry point permissions for a given role, duty, or privilege providing the ability to record business process flows and identify the entry points that are used and allows for the testing of newly created or modified security role due to your privilege without having to use a test user account. It is an extremely helpful tool that security administrators of AX can use during the development of user security. In Dynamics 365 for operations though, the security development tool doesn't exist as a separate application, but instead its features are implemented directly in the app itself. If you start by looking at getting the overview of role, duty, privilege, entry point assignment, we can come up to our menu and come down to security administration and security configuration. On this page, if we're on the roles tab, you're going to be able to see a few permissions button. If we go ahead and click this, what's going to happen is it's going to show us the role, duty, privilege, entry point assignment of that role itself. So we're going to be able to see that entire hierarchy from role all the way down to entry point. Over here on the right, you're actually going to be able to see the actual access types or access levels that are going to that entry point based on the role. Uh, you also, over here on the right hand side, you're going to be able to see the license type of that entry point. So uh, not only are you going to be able to see what access that user has, but you're going to be able to see what license type that user is going to be uh, required to have based on the entry point that they're assigned. Um, the same functionality can be used at a duty or privilege level. So if we come down to the duties, uh, we select one of these and come to view permissions, you're going to be able to see the same information you've seen before, but without the rules information. Um, so you're going to be able to see the duty, privilege, entry point, as well as the access types. And again, you can do the same thing at a privilege level. Uh, by coming and selecting the view permissions. So it's available at all the different levels um, of the security hierarchy. Um, you can use it to be able to quickly view and see what permissions uh, a particular role that your privilege have. If you're curious on what um, permissions or role duties and privileges are required to see a particular form, there is another option for that. Um, if we go to a particular form here, so up in the options button, options menu bar up here, we have a page options icon, uh, and we can come in here to security diagnostics. Diagnostics. If we click on that, that pane on the right hand side is going to open, and this is going to show you the role, duties, and privileges that I have access to this particular form. So you can quickly see that maintain vendors and view vendors privileges are what actually give the user the access to the form itself, as well as the duties and roles that have access to this. So you can very quickly come in and be able to see uh, what uh, role do your privilege a user would require to be able to access a particular form. And finally, if we want to be able to use the task recording function of Dynamics 365 for operations, if we come up to the gear uh, in the menu bar up here at the top and go to task recorder, another um, window will show up in the right hand pane, allowing you to create your recording. So you'll be able to give the recording a name. If you click start, um, once you click start, you're going to be able to actually go through the steps of whatever task you're looking to record. So um, as we go through and actually navigate the UI, and be able to see uh, the information or the steps themselves showing up here on the right hand side. So as we go through, you're going to be able to actually see that information come up here. When you're done with your recording, you go ahead and click stop. You have a couple of different options of exporting this task. Um, the, the recording itself. You can export it into uh, Lifecycle Services as a Word document or a developer recording. Um, exporting it as a Word document will give you a step-by-step -step, um, playback of the uh, recording itself. If you actually want to see the menu items that are used, 
um, during your your task. Uh, you'll have to save it as a developer recording. The output will look similar to um, what is being shown on the screen here. And you can see that I have the VIN table list page menu item selected. So you'll be able to pick out the menu items that are actually used during your um, task itself. I hope this gave you a better overview of the secure, where the security development tool features exist in Dynamics 365 for operations. Thank you.